I was recently doing some good old Lego research for a video on adventurers' appearances in non-adventurer-themed sets. Check it out soon. And one of the treasures I discovered was a large Johnny Thunder mosaic. I wanted it, but soon realized it uses a couple of colors that are no longer produced, and one of those was only ever in like two sets to begin with. I wasn't about to spend the money to make this set perfect, so I cut some corners. I color swapped gray to brown and used the more common pit pieces instead of the square plates, which was the only bricklink order I made. The most used color was white, so I used the empty space on white base plates. And I had a couple house sets with blue roofs that gave me enough slopes to use instead of having to buy black slope pieces. I don't know what they did for instructions for this set, but I couldn't find any. What I did find was another video, thank you Brickstar, or Brick... Brick... So, brick so, brick star, who had a nice zoomed in frame I could grab and line out in Photoshop to match up the plates with. It took about two hours to build, which was a little shorter than I was expecting and way shorter than it felt like. Now, I couldn't decide on what kind of dialogue to write for this time lapse part, so I wrote some haikus. Leave yours in the comments. Current objective build old set with new pieces and call it a day. Nice smooth fingertips. Johnny Thunder Mosaic. Calloused fingertips. Classic Lego themes. Nostalgia works wonders. Grown men with kids' toys. Indiana Jones. No money for that IP. Let's name him Thunder. Lego Obsession. Could be better, could be worse. Legos on my wall. <laughs> 